excited to get it going. Uh, fingers crossed that uh, we're able to, uh, to have a season. I know we've certainly hit a uh, rough patch, uh, not only uh, here locally uh, in Tennessee, but certainly uh, nationwide. So um, it's going to be tricky to navigate. Um, I think the, the thing is you go into a season like this, it's really um, certainly unprecedented and hopefully something that every one of us involved is a once in a lifetime uh, experience. Um, but uh, being adaptable, being flexible, uh, having um, tremendous emotional and, and uh, uh, mental stamina for all the changes and, and uh, all the disruptions that are to come. I think that that couldn't be, uh, it's important every year, but man, is it, is it important uh, on, on a year like this? So, um, you know, we've, our guys have, you know, and the other thing is, you know, having great discipline about um, trying to follow the safety protocols and procedures. You know, it's a challenge uh, for our group, uh, for every group. Um, to, to dig in and to make sure that, uh, you know, they're, they're trying to, to abide by, hey, you know, uh, you know, wear a mask, uh, you know, when you can't social distance, avoid crowds, you know, wash your hands, try not to eat in, um, you know, there, there's a variety of things that they need to do that, uh, you know, they're going to have to hold themselves to a much higher standard than the average uh, college student if, if this is going to go off. So um, to our guys' credit, um, we, we've done a pretty good job here in the preseason giving us an opportunity to get ready. Uh, we feel like, uh, you know, we're at a point as a team where, uh, you know, we're, we're ready to tip off here in 10 days and excited about uh, the opportunity to, to play somebody else and, and navigate uh, this South Atlantic Conference schedule. We obviously, I think from a team standpoint, it's a little bit unique in that we have a lot of guys back, but we only have four guys back who have really played minutes, right? So, um, you know, we, we have two of the better guys in the country. You know, when you look at Cam Henry, Devin Whitfield, um, well, you know, I, I think there's a lot of great players around, uh, but I don't know of, of, of two any better than those two guys. Um, and, uh, and, and then Julius Brown has been our sixth man the last uh, two years will step into a, a bigger role here as a junior and it's worked really hard I think taking you know big jump in his game I think um, that'll be evident uh, Cam Henry's taken a huge jump I think from last year where he was uh, an all-region guy to this year Devin's improved vastly Julius another guy that's, that's taken a big jump and then Alex Dalling, uh, who, who was you know seventh on the team last year in minutes played and uh, has, has played a lot here over the last two years so those four guys um, are guys that are experienced and kind of proven commodities at this level. And then you have a bunch of guys that either were just outside the rotation or, um, you know, or redshirted last year. And as we talked about, we thought our, our redshirt group last year, we call it, you know, our scout team because uh, they simulate the opponent, uh, was the best it's been in my, in my 12 years. And a lot of that is carried over uh, here to the, to the fall of the preseason. You're seeing some guys that uh, redshirted last year that are competing uh, you know, for significant opportunities and roles inside of uh, the rotation. And, and I think, you know, you'll see some of that. So there's a, a group of guys, I guess, about eight when you combine the guys just outside the rotation, the red shirt guys uh, back. So 12 total guys back. And then you have four newcomers, um, three true freshmen uh, uh, that we like a lot and I think have a chance to be really good players uh, in time. Uh, like, like most years, we have a lot of experience back. Uh, the younger guys start a disadvantage, you know, from a uh, certainly a understanding, knowledge, corporate knowledge standpoint in terms of how we do things. But there's also, uh, you know, the physical differences between a 21, 22-year-old and 18-year-old. So um, it's an uphill battle for those guys. We think all three are going to be really good players in time um, and, and have an opportunity, you know, this year uh, to, to impact us potentially because you just, with, with COVID and everything going, I mean, you don't know if you're going to have everybody available for every game and, and how all that's going to going to shake out. So, right. So um, depth has never been more needed. And, I, I, you know, I feel like this is maybe as deep a team as we've had in my in my 13 years here. And then uh, the last guy, you know, we have one transfer, Jordan Guest, who we uh, expect to make a, a big impact. You know, you never know until uh, you get rolling. But he's a guy that, that we really like. He filled a, a void that we felt like we had uh, on the interior. You know, he's 6'9". He's uh, gives us a little bit of a you know a unique uh, player at that position with his ability to stretch the floor and, and his guard skills and mobility and all that and he's he's a skilled guy at you know six nine two thirty good rebounder tough kid so uh, he should be a, a significant impact for us as a uh, as an incoming player so excited about our roster um, you know it's always I think you know it's good when you feel like 
Um, you don't have to worry as much about tangible things. You know, we know we have talent. We know we have uh, good players. And the concern when you, when you know you have that is always the intangible things. You know, uh, what's our togetherness going to be like? Um, you know, how are we going to handle the inevitable ups and downs? Are we going to be able to sacrifice and, um, you know, and, and put the team first in terms of uh, when you have that much talent, all these guys playing together and, and, and you know, giving up good to get great and, and being connected and being willing to do the uh, dirty work uh, that, that it takes to win games, you know, and not allowing uh, the talent to, to be your nemesis, right? So, you know, a lot of times you have talent as a player, as a group, uh, that, that talent can be your greatest nemesis because you lose focus on the details and what's important. So uh, all the intangible stuff we got to show, you know, our competitiveness, our commitment level, our unselfishness, uh, how we're going to respond to adversity, all that stuff is to be proven inside the lines here in the, in the upcoming season.